We're trying this microphone now. Nothing is coming through. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. So apparently, because the Windows update screwed up, I have to put in a completely new uh, audio input now. So let me just go ahead and do that for every for the uh, main selection here. So bear with us a moment. Okay. Hopefully this is working out too. Hopefully this is working out too. It does sound like it. Wow, this is great. Thank you, Windows Update. You are a confusing, confusing mistress. Confusing mistress. Hopefully the game log or sound is not too bad for you guys. Uh, once again, sorry for the late starts. There was... I just, uh, had a breakfast with the family. My brother was in town for a couple hours. For basically a few hours. So we got together. And we got back. And, again, here we are. Final Fantasy IV. On the... Game Boy Advance. Playing through my Nintendo game. Hope you've all had a good week. But, uh, yeah, let's just d- jump right into it. Uh, last we left off, um, the kingdom of Damsian got bombed by the Red Wings of Baron. Wow. Music loud. I'm quiet. I really didn't change many of the audio settings, so, you know, hopefully... I've got myself basically a as much as I can. I've got the output audio hopefully down to a reasonable level. Let's go ahead and pull this one down. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, like I said, Windows updated and completely threw off my audio settings because I had to go through and do everything with Discord. So, anyway, uh, let's uh, see the damage that the Red Wings did. Oh, ellipses. Maybe he's just being quiet. How about this guy? Is he okay? No, more ellipses. Hey you, how about you? They stole the crystal. Oh man. The bombardment was too much. Well, generally, yes. That's what bombardments are like. The healing pots upstairs. I must. Ooh. <laughs> Got some healing pots, man. Well, the bombardment was too much. And he's dead. Eh, they're not going to be needing that tent, I think. Is that? Oh, it's Anna! Yo! You're the bard, Anna! Run right away because you're treachery! You spoony bird! No, wait! Come on, old man. Hit him! Hit him! Yeah! Die! Please listen! Oh, guys, this is gonna go on forever. Yeah, I think it is. 
The old man is fighting the bard. Shut up! Forgive me, please! He did say the greatest line in the game, though. You spoony bard. Take this! Arr! Father, stop! And then the battle stops. Oh, Anna, I'm so glad to see you again. Father, Edward is the Prince of Damsian. Forgive me, Father, for running away, but I love Edward. Edward, we're going to change that. Still, I know I couldn't find happiness without your consent. I was on my way home when... When we were attacked by Baron's Red Wings, led by Goldbez. I've never heard of Gov Goldbez before. Who is he? I don't know. All I know is that his powers were beyond words. But why did they attack Damsian? They wanted the crystal, and they spared no one to get it. My mother, my father, even Anna shielded me from their arrows. You love him enough to give your own life? Father, forgive me. I love you. Anna? Anna! Oh, Anna! Damn you, Goldress! Who is this monster, anyway? What do you know about him? He came to Baron one day and became the new leader of the Red Wings. He, he leads them in their mission to plunder the crystals. Stop your tempering! That won't bring Anna back. Not even a life spell would bring Anna back, which I know, but clearly will not cast because it's plot armor. Goldbez of Baron, I should take his life with my own two hands. Oh, like you just tried doing in that last fight? You barely cracked double digits, old man. Gramps, wait, you can't possibly go alone. Club. I will kill Gulbaz on my own. I don't need your help. I don't need anyone's help. Oh, Gramps left the party. What sucks? Yeah, no. Stop crying! You're a grown-up! You're not supposed to cry! I lost my mom! But I'm not gonna cry anymore! Awful. Don't care. Leave me alone. I'm staying here with Anna. I'll never leave her side. Yeah! Bard violence! It's enough. You're now the rightful ruler of Damsian. So stop acting like it. Or start acting. You owe it to your people. You owe it to Anna. Your Majesty, my name is Poppin, and I need your help. What? My friend is suffering from desert fever in Kaipo. I need to get the sand ruby to save her. Can you help me? What is her name? Rosa. She's very dear to you, isn't she? Like Anna was to me. You can find the sand ruby in the antline cave which lies to the east. A ruby forms from the fluid that the antline secretes when it lays eggs. You. We must cross the shallows with our hovercraft to reach the cave. After we acquire the sand ruby, we can cross the shallows and reach Kaipo. Let us be on our way. Hey, but we got a new friend though. We got Edward.
Goodbye, Anna. Okay, why'd she disappear? But no one else did. Yeah, we got a vehicle. We got a hovercraft. <laughs> we could go anywhere. Almost. As long as there are shallows to follow. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, Edward, no, you don't... You don't, you don't, uh, you don't play up with the front, buddy. <laughs> no, no, you don't. All right, let's see what he's got on. Uh, oh, he's got a harp, a feathered cap, bard's tunic, that's the same as leather garb, and a ruby ring. He's got more defense than it has magic defense, which is fine. All right, we'll keep his stuff. Sort our items real quick. And let's get a save going. Although, actually, you're right. We need to change his name, don't we, everybody? Well, I mean, you don't get attacked in vehicles, so that's a plus. But don't worry, the random battles will be coming soon enough. There we go. All right. And back to Kaipo. All right. Where's the naming way? He is probably in the tavern. We'll let's see. Head on upstairs, take a look. No, that's not naming way. Alright guys, start thinking of, up of a new name for Edward here. Uh, you know the drill, if we get a couple of, uh, a few names in here, we'll toss a poll up and then we'll see who would, who prefers which name. Again, he's a bard. Uh, he just lost his loved one and got beaten up by an old man to boot. Uh, yes, we've got seven characters max to work with. There you are, naming way. Hello! Do you wish to change your name? <laughs> alright, let's get rid of Edward. And alright, let's see what names we've got here. Uh, no. Absolutely not, Zero. Absolutely not. Alright, so we got seven characters max. Let's see here. Got Bob. We, we got McMahon. Noodle. Zorg? You would want to give the bard's name Zorg? That sounds near heresy. He has no music. He has no flame to his name. Rick and Becca, that's too many... That, that, that's too many, uh... characters there. Foppins. Alright, we'll put Foppins on there. It's all Bob. Common name, just to replace Edward. Flambe. Alright, yeah, we'll put... We'll put Flambe up there. Uh, I just see McMahon. 
Although I'm probably spelling this wrong in the uh, pull here. Oh, that's, I like that one. All right, yeah. I'll put target in there, and then there was another one I saw, but. Or pancake. Pancake to go with wobble. Well, pancake might actually work later on, but we can put pancake up there. All right, uh, I'm going to start the vote. We've got one minute. And again, just like last time, I've got veto powers on uh, some names. Depending on what's suggested. Poll should be closing in just a couple of seconds here. Wait for that to... <laughs> uh, looks like we got... Looks like Target it is. I do approve of that. I approve of that so much. Don't be a stranger! All right. Let's just double check the equipment shop here, though. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, the iron ring. Uh, I have. To, oh, that's right. Yeah, the iron ring ups the. Uh, he's got ruby ring on though, so let's just keep the iron ring. Let's keep keep the ruby ring on him. And yeah, he can't really. His 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 best with the harp, so let's keep those. Now to the ant lion. Hey, there's your, uh, destroyed their castle. Their target. Remember when that happened, eh? Yeah, that was good times, right? Yeah, eh? Eh? And we'll just save there. Alright, into the cave we go. Oh-ho! I add him in tortoise and goblins. Ow! All right, he's got sing heal. Okay, yeah. See, he's actually got uh, he, he's got heal in this game, so that's actually pretty good. Still can't choose a song, so he sings. Oh, hey, it worked. It will always be a random song that he has. Unlike the uh, 3DS version where I believe you can choose the song he sings. Yeah, he ain't all that accurate. But uh, his healing ability in this game will take a potion and spread that among everybody in the party. So that's actually you know, not that bad. But he does have the greatest ability of all, which is hide. And basically what that is, is once he gets below, uh, once he gets to critical health, uh, he just runs away where you can't do anything with him except bring him back out to the fight. And hopefully he doesn't hide before you can heal him. Because, yeah, because, you know, he's just <laughs> a coward. Well, it's because he is a bard. That's why he does not have the noble class. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, he he, uh, he just nopes the fuck out. He just nopes the fuck out if he's at critical health. Yeah, Edward is uh, not much of a fighter. I mean, even his battle stance, he looks very unsure of himself. Da, 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 da. I don't think there are... yeah, no passages here. Oh, yay. Yeah, these guys... <sighs> uh, what will Blizzard do against these things? I mean, yeah, they don't hit hard, but... That Blizzard does a little bit. What about Darkness? Yeah, that's no damage. Yeah, see, I, we can make him appear. Yeah, just, just, just get out of here. That battle would be way too long, and experience would not be worth it. Okay, okay, targets are unfitting me, but he's a moving target. They have to try and hit him even harder now. Oh, when he gain a level? No, no, he is not worthy of the name Goat. Oh, wow, he actually hit something. Congratulations there, Target. Hey, Target gained another level. Wonderful. Oh, oh, what fun. Oh, let's go ahead and swap rows. Uh, try singing. Let's see what that does. Hey, we confused it. All right. Okay, so ice on the turtles. They don't like that. Ah, yes, turn yourself to stone. Uh, what can you sing on this thing? Oh, nothing. That was a moderate success. Let's, uh, let's hold off a second here. Stone gaze. Oh, let's see if that thing will kill itself. Let's see if that'll just kill itself. And third. Oh, guess that. All right. Or is it five stone gazes? I forget now. I thought it was three for the for the player characters. Oh, there we go. That's a decent hunk of experience. Oh, just a potion. That's fine, we need those. The Arctic Wind. Aha! A harp. I think the harps may increase his songs. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Oh yeah, that doubles his attack. But does it... Probably doesn't affect his accuracy, though. Oh! We have an ice rod! When did we get that? 
Uh, let's give that to, yeah, let's just go ahead and... Oh, that's right. Uh, Gramps had that, didn't he? It's a good thing I took, out, took it off him then. Because, little insider baseball, um, this game, when party members leave your party, they leave with everything on them. So, I already unequipped Gramps before he left. Because when they do come back to your party, they'll have new equipment. And granted, that really doesn't mean all that much. But, you know, sometimes having the equipment that they would have taken with them could be advantageous to put on a new character you get. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Target, we knew you well. You could have used that 200 experience, I bet. Get up, you foolish man. Hello, blue gentleman. Eek, more gobbos. Exactly. The corpse has work to do. Oh, you know it would be really cool if the goblins dropped uh, the goblin item. Because there are a few enemies in this game that basically more or less drop themselves and they are summons for Waffle. And, like, my very first playthrough, I got Goblin fairly early in the game. I believe there is... Yeah, you get, like, a... You get the Raven, uh, the Mind Flare, the Goblin, and, and Bomb. That's what it was, a Bomb. Beaten by a rod. <laughs> but yeah, those those drops are rare. They're like like the one in like like the one percent kind of drop stuff. All right. Uh, no, we got a bomb fragment. Let's use that. That's just a fire spell in a can, and that did nothing. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, those things without high magic are going to be nigh impossible to finish off. Is there an entryway over here? No, nope. okay, I thought there was, but oh well. That's a doorway. Yellow jelly. I mean, it sounds like a euphemism for lime, for, you know, lemon jelly. Stop with the jellies. I can't kill them. Why, game? Why? Hello? Oh, well, hello there, Bowser. How are you this morning? Oh, no, that's quite fine. Uh, Bowser has joined us, everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a quick little check, see if I can't properly play with the uh, audio le levels here, because... As I said at the beginning of the stream, uh, Windows didn't update and completely screwed with my audio settings. So I had to put a new microphone input device into OBS in order to actually be heard. They are saying in chat that I 
am super low, however. Yeah. I'm, uh, trying to play with that right now. Yeah. Because, I mean, right now you're probably, like, at the same level as the game volume is. And I'm trying to keep that low but bring you up, is the thing. Yeah, with with also with the way this video card comes through, I really I really need do need to set up a uh, virtual soundboard, no, not soundboard, but a uh, um, mixing board. Yeah, because. Uh -huh. There has been many a talk, and uh, after talking to Pro uh, from over on Courtesy Flush, he has, he has said to me that a lot of the ways that he gets a lot of the older games that he plays to work is uh, via an external uh, virtual, or external virtual, an external uh, mixing board. Oh, yeah, I mean. I, I, I personally would love an external mixing board, but the issue is. You know, I've got it. I, I can't plug a uh, UMD cord into an external mixing board and just mix the audio. That's you know, that's my audio and video coming from the consoles to the PC. There's a couple of them out there right now. Um, Squick and a few others have, have, uh, have given me links to them and such, and uh, they've uh, what you call it. They're not straight up like mixing boards. They're kind of like a modern thing. They're, they're all USB driven. And they affect, they like they have programs on them that affects everything. It's it's, it's interesting. I'd like to get into it. Sure. Okay. Like seven. Have you guys been using emulators or like maybe isolating one specific thing that works well across the game? I don't know. I'm not big. So no, we actually have not been using emulators. All of the games that we've been using. playing this on your capture card, aren't you? Yes, yeah, I've got it on my console running through a capture card into my system is how I'm running this. So this is all original hardware is what I'm using. That's why it's System Saturday. There is no emulation whatsoever going on. The yeah. only emulation going on is the Game Boy cartridge play, being played through the GameCube. Yeah, so I, that's the same thing like, when I do um, hopefully at some point I want to Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, the easy fix to this would be just plucking the audio cords out, and hopefully that will deafen some of the uh, game audio. Because again, technically, you and the game are coming through the same audio channel, which is why I need the, um, which is why I need the virtual mixing board, so I could take the game volume, turn that down, and keep all the rest of the volume up. Yeah, there's no option here. Because, like, even to me, you know, you're basically the same volume as the game, unfortunately. How about I, now? How's that, how's that, chat? Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and trigger this antlion fight. 
Yeah, yeah, you do your thing. Yeah. This is where the ant lion lays its eggs. I turned, I turned my microphone up. Oh, we're at the end. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we made it to, da- to damn scene yesterday, or last week, so. Uh, you Spoony Bard, Edward, you. Yeah, you just missed Spoony Bard. You just missed it. The ant lions are quite tame. They don't attack people. I'll demonstrate by taking the sand ruby, like so. Ah, oh, fuck! Jesus! No! Oh, that thing just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Oh, it's got a face and only a mother can Yep. Alright, Edward, do the thing you do best. There you go, champ. Okay. All right, Chocobo, what are you? How, how are you doing? Do you actually, like, get him to hide? Because, like, I actually, like, I, I, I used him. I mean... I mean, in, th- in this in this game, um, he's actually decently useful. Because I do believe they upped the uh, percentage of his songs when he sings. So they actually have a chance of doing something. And... Uh, they gave him back, or rather, they gave him his heal ability. And what that does is that will take uh, a potion from your inventory and spread that among everybody in the in the group. That's not that bad. Yeah, no, it's it's not that bad. It actually makes him useful because, well, his accuracy is trash. Master Master Mayhem One One Seven asks, "How does it walk?" And I assume because its legs are horribly deformed. Uses its tongue and or mandibles. Yeah, I mean, it, it probably does so carefully, and just uh, yeah, I mean, just as usual, he's just getting the crap kicked out of him. Oh, oh, there he. Oh, don't, don't, don't do it! Don't do it, you coward! Do not, don't do it! Don't do it! There, okay. That that's the one thing I never liked about him is that. Oh, there he goes! There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. He hides on his own. There he goes. Yep. As soon as he gets to that critical health, he is out of there. And it's impossible to heal him because it's just an auto high. You can't turn that off. Anyway, yeah, pretty much. Pretty up. much. At least you got a potion off on him before he... Yeah. Because he just would instantly hide even before I had a chance to. Let's just get that choke to kick him out. Kick the crap out of him because... Um... It's technically not a physical attack, so it won't counter. No effect. Although, in a, in a 3DS version, which I would have considered playing if it actually worked on my Steam, um, you can choose what songs uh, Edward plays and tries to sing to, act, to be even more useful. Man, it has been so long since I've played this game. Yeah. I really like the sound effects of the uh, Super Nintendo version. I was a little bummed that they were kind of updated for this version, but, you know, it's like, oh well, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, target gained a level. Probably gained a second level. I love the music. I, I, I just... I... Yeah. These are the games that got me into RP, like RPGs. Yup, like yup. This, Chrono Trigger, these, the, the way these... There's a... I have to quote another internet personality, and that is Spoonie from the Spoonie Experiment, talking about like modern RPGs, about mm-hmm. how they're the long hallway. And I agree with him on that one. They are the long hallway. Um, because get, like after Final Fantasy X, 10, 10 not so much, 12 kinda, but 13 and well, 14 is the multiplayer, but this, this long idea of, like, it's it's a path, and all you're doing is just walking down this path, and you're just dealing with whatever comes your way. Yep. In the old days, with these, it actually felt like you were playing these characters, and that you were, I mean, yes, it was a linear story, story you had to follow the story, but you were, like, it felt like you were... Exploring. Yeah. You are going... Felt it wasn't Metal Gear Solid where you're going from cutscene to cutscene. Yes, yes. You okay? Probably he's on the couch behind me. Oh. Like at a 
a burp or a, a, a cough or, or something. Well, did Tally go to White Town's Bean House the other night? No. Oh, okay. No. Because that would cause anyone to burp or hiccup or something. And oh my god, get jellies, go away. Ah, uh, jellies. Yellow jellies. Radius face doesn't move when you run. Do you think they're do you think they're yellow for a specific reason? Or? They're probably lemon flavored, yes. Um. We already had chat try to go there. <laughs> no, no why Tom's Retali. Why Tom's Retali is a bad thing because then Bowser has to clean up a mess. Why Tom's for humans is generally a bad thing. Lemon flavor is really bad. Yeah, so many, so many yellow jellies. Yeah, yeah, they're just all over the place now. And I have no items or magic to deal with them. It's a good thing the Atlantic Cave isn't all that big. It's true. And let's go ahead and save here. Wow, you gained a whole three levels in there, Target. Congratulations. Let's get some free heals while we're here. Oh yeah, the hover the hover boat. Yeah, the hovercraft. Oh hey, everybody else disappeared. Let's get free heals. Oh yes, the fountain there's a fountain in here. Yeah, they got a couple of pots up here at the top, yeah. Oh, hey, look, some people survived. We are the only survivors. Perhaps we should withdraw to Kaipo. If only we had a hovercraft to get us across the shallows to the west. Yeah, if only you did, sorry. Don't know where you can find one. Have a clue. I was planning to head across Mount Hobbs to Fubar, but the trailer's blocked by a thick wall of ice. You know what usually sorts that out? Fire. Or a big fire breathing, uh, fire breathing dragon. Oh, Very true. It. Very true. But where could we get some fire? Tala, T Tala left us. He knew, he knew the fire spell. Rydia just has thunder and blizzard. She doesn't know fire. Yeah, because dropping 80 gold on an inn is far too expensive. What, you think you're made of money? Yeah, no. No, absolutely not. We need money for things like swords and things that explode. Yes. Every time I see this thing, I just think of Luke Skywalker's speeder. Yeah, yeah, it does look kind of look like the speeder, doesn't it? A little bit. Sheesh! Sheesh! Although it doesn't have the Vaseline underneath it. Give the floating effect. Oh, yeah, no. oh, no, we wanted to save. Let's go rescue Rosa, and then we'll rename her. <laughs> Rosa! Rosa is exposed to the light of the sand ruby. Oh. Poppin! You're alive, thank goodness. How do you feel? I'm fine, but I thought I'd lost you. They told me you died in mist when the earthquake hit. I'm sorry to have put you through that. Rosa, who is Golbez? He's the new captain of the Red Wings, appointed by the king himself. But the king has been acting strangely. I believe Golbez is manipulating him to collect the crystals for himself. With Mycidia's water crystals in their hands, he'll surely go after the others, which are the fire crystal of Damsian, the wind crystal of Fubal, and the earth crystal of Troya. The fire crystal has already been taken into his hands. This was the first 
yes. iteration of the crystal theme, wasn't it? I think I think this game set a lot of precedent for future games. Yes, be it yeah, the crystals, the impromptu class system. You know, everybody beat like a dark knight, dragoon, bard. Uh, and even, like, class-specific abilities, which are obviously in other games. Well, I do remember the first one having, like, fighter, thief, mage, white mage. Well, white yes. Mage, white mage. Well, true, but, like, this one, like, like, uh, like, really, like, the summoner having some abilities, like, obviously, like, like, well, like, more classes. Like, again, the bard, the dark knight, the summoner. Yeah, they opened up, they opened up things, but I'm almost positive, like, the crystal... The, like the, the theme, the overall theme of Final Fantasy is the crystal theme. Yeah, I mean, that was um, kind of in the original as well. It was, in, but I think this is the one that kind of made it known as the crystal theme. Because after, before this, I'm pretty sure it was just, oh, it's the theme of Final Fantasy. And then they yeah. they kind of made this sound like crystal. I'm not sure if you've ever heard like different iterations of this of, of the music for this, of like the opening. Mm -hmm. But it's very crystalline. Yes, yes. Very kind of like Pixicato, if you will, I guess. First, uh, Lamone says, first game had orbs instead of crystals. Yes, each city had an orb or something along like those lines. Uh, you see, Waffle, can you cast fire? No. Fire is the most elementary of black magic spells. As a summoner, you... <laughs> <laughs> Rosa, stop. You're not coming with us in that condition. I'll be alright. Really. Just if you me. don't let me come, I swear to God I'll melt your shorts. <laughs> Promise not to be a burden. Rosa only oh. wishes to be with you, Poppy. Alright. We'll go together. Make sure you get plenty of rest tonight. Thank you. White mage. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yep. Now time for the second longest battle of the game. First longest battle kind of, is between Tella and Edward. Mornwell, uh, Final Fantasy has, like, the monopoly on weird shit. I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to, like, job systems and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Target. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we call him Target, yeah. <laughs> He is a target. <laughs> yeah, ch chat, chat, chat's, uh, chat's allowed to make to uh, suggest names for the characters, and then we'll put a pull up. But uh, I mean, ultimately, I've got veto power because if some are just you know too offensive or what have you, you know, obviously those are next. I understand, but, but target is great. Oh he yeah, he is a target. Yes. <laughs> a sahag like again. Oh, yeah, no. a Sahaga Gijin. This is like the one battle that. Oh shit, Anna, what up? Target! Anna! You must fight Target! Anna! What do I do? Target! It's gone! Take the knife and plunge it into its chest! Believe in yourself! Murder in my name! I remember this being a lot harder than the original playthrough. Oh, again, all those years ago. Cal 32, uh, the BPL takes on Final Fantasy 14 would be great. There are a couple of people in the BPL that play Final, uh, Final Fantasy 14 online, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I mean, actually, it's, it's, actually I yeah. I might uh, be trying that game out now that they're introducing the four fiends in there. So. I never really, I never had the, 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 the whim to, um, to play it oh, that's because, fair again like after to, to me after final fantasy 9 i think it really went in a direction that i, I didn't want to go with like i was just like wow there's just like i i i love seven eight was okay nine was okay i, I like the artwork in it for some reason it was just me but you know i know a lot of people didn't like it and mm -hmm. some people did 
but 10 was just one of those things that was just like, oh my god, what am I watching? Why? Yeah. Why? It, it, that's what started to lean into the action RPG, I think. And, and I'm not yeah. a fan of action RPGs. Mm. Action RPG and Dress Up Simulator from X2. Yeah. Well, true. Okay. Yeah, but, but I mean, they're, you know, like I said, they're, they're introducing the... Uh, well, they're introducing the four fiends from this from Final Fantasy IV here, and it's like, oh, hey, I might you know, check this game out now. So yeah, I might uh, I might check out Final Fantasy XIV. No promises though. All right, well, all right, uh, all right, chat. Let's uh, let's get some names for Rosa in here. Uh, Poppin's love interest, uh, a white mage. She uses bows and arrows. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get some names going in here. The Moon says uh, the first time that uh, they played this, uh, they were pretty sure that uh, they ran from or they ran from everything. Made boss battles a pain in the ass. Yes. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that would do it. Yeah. Wrath eighty seven has mommy. Yeah, I see that. You're god, man. Yeah. It sounds. Ooh, pancake. Oh, we have another hey, suggest. Hey, hey. We have another suggest. Hey, I mean. Pancake would we work got, well for another character, but you know, I'll put it on there. I'll put it on there. We got we got Pancake Baconator in distress. Oh, first time chatter, welcome. Um, yeah, it's the only MMO that has kept my attention. Stopped well at Warlords, picked up five minutes, uh, fourteen and still play. Okay, we, we've Demeter. Ooh, I like that, Mr. Well, Demeter. We've only got we've got seven characters to work with, so that's not going to fit. Misty. Uh, yeah, we could put Misty up there, I guess. Oh, uh, Lady Botha, Botha, Bat, Bat Hat, uh, Lady I, I, Bat Hat. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 too long. We could put Bat Hat up there, but you know, again, it, we we have seven characters, seven letters to use. I think Miss D, M I S or M R S or no M S D E, as in misdemeanor. We could we could shorten okay. misdemeanor. M M S D E E or D E M. Here, I'll put the I'll put it in like that. All right, so we've got mommy, pancake, Miss D, uh, Bafu mom, Bafu mom. Okay, that one would fit. Lick Lictor Lick. I got questions for you, sir. <laughs> M for Miss Fortune. M Fortune. Uh. Fortune's oh. not too bad. Yeah, for, I mean, Fortune will, we'll, we'll, we'll put Fortune up there, because Fortune will fit. Alright, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead on uh, another one minute poll. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, like, the only MMOs I played, like, technically the first MMO I played was Fantasy Star Online. Um, and I might actually play that on the channel as well. Um, but, uh, other than that, the other MMO I, other, I played, though, was, uh, Star Trek Online. And... That, those are like really the MMOs I've played. I've tried Final Fantasy 2, or not Final Fantasy 2, but Fantasy Star Online 2. That just way too much premium currency in that game. Oh my goodness. And it just started, doesn't have like the spirit of the original either. I started my MMO uh, career uh, in the wonderful world of Diablo. X on Final Fantasy 14 would be hilarious. I started playing Diablo, and then I started playing Diablo 2 with my friends mm -hmm. uh, way back in uh, high school, my high school days. Bafu Mom. Bafu Mom. Yeah, Bafu Mom 1, uh, yeah. So, I have many uh, stories of... of oh, Bafu Mom's not going to fit. How about oh, let's let's change that to uh, that's a V. No, that is you. How about uh, let's there buff mom. How about that? Buff mom. I thought we had seven characters, not six. She's boof, and she might be a mom later, but we know. Well, I mean, if you ever I mean. I wouldn't mind playing the after years. Anyways, um, Diablo 2 has many interesting stories from 
the fact of the matter that it was literally one of the funnest times, and it's also the reason why I got into World of Warcraft Online, or World of Warcraft, um, because um, Morgan Pollard says, do not Google buff mom. <laughs> Okay. I mean, do you know how many people would love to Google Buff Mommy? <laughs> um, there was an incident in our last final days of uh, Diablo 2 um, that my friend will live in infamy for, but it's the same time it was like, we laugh about it now, but at the time we were like, oh my god, why? Because it was everything. So my friend was really into playing Diablo 2 and had started, like, farming things to sell on eBay. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. Oh. It's not something you should do. Let's, uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, she's fine there, but uh, we're just going to reorder here. Let's go ahead and put Rosa next to Cecil because they love each other. Oh, yeah, put the lovers together. And, and Edward could just be up there by himself. Yeah, get that Spoonie Bard out of as far away from me as you can. Alright, uh, we're gonna try at the very least make it to Fubal by the end of the street, which should be fairly easy. Woo! Ooh, not Hobbs. Oh, Anyways, okay. long story short, my friend downloaded a, uh, a bot to try and run um, uh -huh. uh, uh, when he was at school, and it ironically turned out to be a keylogger to which somebody stole all of his shit. Oh, including, no. Including a perfect Breath of the Dying axe. And I remember the phone call very well. It was very vivid. He called me up. He's like, it's gone. I'm like, what's gone? He's like, it's gone. Everything. I was like, even the BOTD? He's like, it's gone. He's like, I'm done. And the next day, we started playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I said that sucks. The only one that could melt this ice. If we can't get through through to football, more people will be in danger. Please, Waffle. Waffle. Did you call her Waffle because she flip flops? I have no idea. But no, that's that. Th I'm, I'm not going to spoil this for people that haven't played the game, but you know that she's not the flip flopper. We need your strength and courage. Zorg. You know what also might work? Going down to the, the bottom of the mountain and getting a bunch of wood and then building a fire. It needed a magical fire. Oh. Zorg! Waffle, that was incredible! With this powerful magic, I shall now incinerate my enemies! Excellent! <laughs> Praise Zorg! What does warp do? Huh? Warp, uh... If you're in a map like this, it takes you back to the previous door. It's a less, uh... Extreme, uh, exit spell. Sergeant Nevels, or newbies, wants to know, uh, is Witch bringing the magical fire? I don't know. Senekao says, I played WoW to the X-Pack after Warlords and Ahsoka. I think I stopped just, just after, uh, North Spring for the, the the one with the uh, the frost army and, or the, and the, the the witch king or whatever I can't remember it's the lich one. king no 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 the wrath of the lich king yeah thank you I guess it was lich king sorry Stryker. Oh, that's okay <laughs> I remember I mean I remember that was a big thing because I think they had a I think at the time. War Warcraft 3 just had, like, a Lich King expansion about that time, too, or something like that. Well, it, it, everything was, like, so tied into it and stuff like that. Yeah. And they started doing weird stuff, and I was just like... Hey, Come on, Lap of the Witch Queen. Yes, Shadow, Diablo 2 was a feeling. 
And the fact of the matter that um, they, they re, uh, redid it, um, we, a lot of us have it. I know Tex has it, Dick, Diggs has it, I have it. A lot of people are, are playing it again. It's just, it's been a while. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, mm, do I go back and get in and play it again? I've got characters in it and stuff like that. It's just been a while since I've had that play it. She is that black magic woman. Use fire. Burn them. Yes, burn the skeletons. Also, she does have prey in this game. I do like prey in in the uh, 3DS remake because that's like a regen thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, it casts like a regen. Which is nice to have. I played WoW until I... Threw up. Yes, what? I played WoW until I joined the military. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I was in the military when I was playing WoW. That's not accurate. You were I in the WoW because you played the military. Well, I had to I had to give it up for like six to eight months because, you know, I was overseas. But... Kind of she connected! Really she wild. connected! Shot it. <laughs> what was that, sorry? I uh, just... The rod connected with the skeleton. Oh my god! We got the little... Target gained a level. He added another bullseye. <laughs> yup, he had another 10 health he could chip off. Yay! Oh, you know what? I could do this here, can't I? Uh, I mean, I could sh I, I could share my screen with you so you see what I'm. See oh, oh shit! Oh shit! She did. Bombs! Oh! Oh, it's confused. Wonderful. Let's not confuse it anymore now. Uh, do you have? No, we don't have life yet. Okay. Oh, she did. What song did Edward sing to make that confusing? What, uh, what song did he sing to make it question its 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 purpose in it's, life? Like, it's sanity. What am, I, what am I doing here? What is this for? I don't know, man. What are we doing here? It's one of life's great mysteries. Are we here because of some cosmic coincidence? Is there even a god out there with a plan for us and stuff? What if God was one of us? I don't know, man. It keeps me up at night. Swab like one of us. I don't know, man. It keeps me up at night. What? No, I mean, what are we doing here in this box canyon? Oh god, oh, okay, now I know where you're going. I actually got, uh... I got, like, I got a package of Pocky for that. Uh, I was at, I was at, uh... Was it Yomacon or Asen? Gosh, I can't remember now. Oh, it blew up. It blew the fuck up. It only has 62 health, but anyway. I was, I think I was at... I think I was at ASEN. Oh, now I learned life. Okay. Wait, I think it was ASEN where I was waiting in line for a panel that was about um, anime voice dubbing, fan dubbing, which is what people would consider uh, like the abridged series now, but it was, uh, you know, taking, you know, anime and completely changing the story and redubbing it to your own words and things like that. Again, akin to what uh, the Abridge series is, only it's not, like, the same plot. It's all different. But anyway, um, I was standing in line. This guy was a quest was a quest giver. You know, he had, like, an exclamation above him. And these couple of girls who came over, hey, you're the guy that gives out the quest, right? You know, for whatever. It's like, yeah, yeah, I am. Oh, cool. We want to try one. So he pulls one out and... Uh, it was in the web series Red vs. Blue, you know, what are the opening lines spoken by Griff and Simmons? And like, we don't know that, and they're like, I just instantly go, oh! And bite my tongue, and like, we don't know, it could be a different one? Nope, sorry, it's whatever I pull out is what the question is, so. They ran away, he just turns me, and I've just got this big shit-eating grin on my face, like, ha ha! He's like, yes, and I just go into it, and I went for like, the first, like, Five minutes of the show. Even, like, getting into Tucker and Church's roles. Like, what are they talking about? 
And he's like, alright, you got it. Damn. I'm like, do you want to put the DVD on pause? Because I can put the DVD on pause, or I can just keep going. And that's how I got free pop. I love convention uh, shenanigans sometimes. Oh, yeah. Um, when, I, when I did, um, so I used to work uh, for a convention uh, at Halcon. I was actually part of a security detail. Yes. Um, and the first year I was there, they had something called Jet Nerdy. Yes. And I love the concept of it. And I, I, we've been talking about kind of doing something like that here in, in the Legion mm -hmm. for you guys. I'd love to, to set it up. I'm, 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 we're, we're working on it, but Jeopardy was basically Jeopardy, only every topic was nerd stuff. Oh, dang it. And uh, the guy who was doing the presenting um, was uh, technically speaking, more than ever had my boss, but um, he was, so the, he had. Uh, Three panelists, and of course there was a board, and like exactly like Jeopardy, only there was an audience there. And so he says the question, and I can't remember specifically what the question was, but I do remember what it was from. And everybody on the panel was getting it wrong. Everybody, like people in the audience, was just like, like, just like they were like, what, what? And from the back, you could hear me go. I'm Mr. in hell, you jackass! <laughs> and Dan, the guy who was my boss, literally pointed at me. He's like, you're right, but don't yell it out. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, uh, conventions. Uh, what fun things they are. I, 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 I haven't gone to a convention in a while. I went. I was at my first convention uh, a couple years ago, or not a couple months ago, back in uh, May for ASEN, because that opened back up, and that's. I, I meet a group of friends there every year. That's why. That's why I still go to the convention because I am not the biggest weeb, so like I don't go out there specifically for the anime. I just go out there to hang out with my friends. Now, and yeah. dealer's room, yes, that is a bonus. Dealer's room is a bonus, but. I just go out there to hang with that group of goobers. I would love to do a bit of a tour and like get into like San Diego Comic Con at some point. Like, I'm, that's San Diego, San Diego Comic Con is the dream. Like it's not gonna happen unless like I win the lottery or something. Um, but I like to go like the PAX East to PAX um, or yeah, PAX East for us and. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? The one, the, there's one in Toronto. I'd like to go to, to Yumacon out uh, out with you guys. And Hell yeah! Like that. Hey, just let me know when. I usually get a hotel. Hey, we'll, we'll talk. Hell yeah. I just like to go. I just like to hang out and like just be like, like let's walk around and see all the crazy stuff and like, oh my god. Oh, he'll say yeah. at you. Hell yeah, brother though. Fantastic it is the monk from Fubal, yes. Who doesn't oh, say yeah. achu in this version? It's Kang. Yang, yes. Is it Yang? Oh, yes, Yang. Okay, yeah. sorry, I, I wonder if in the original Super Nintendo version it was Kang. No, it was it was Yang with a Y. Yang? Yep. I mean, I, I can load up the Super NES right now if you want me to. Everybody's like hit Dragon Con, Dragon Con be sick. Yeah, I've heard I've heard Dragon Con you guys. Good it used to be at the time like uh, I knew the guys who would like dress up in like heavy armor and stuff like that. So like we need one guy who would dress up as a, a space marine. Um, I did a guardsman uniform one year. Um, or I tried. Uh, you know. It's just fun to hang out and do stuff like that. Oh yeah. I mean I, I would love to make some armor one day. Uh, Fez uh, Bear, I yeah, I understand. As, uh, San Diego uh, is corporate, I get that. And Dragon Con is fan run, that's cool. But I mean, with San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, you get like some of the big name uh, oh, yeah. panels, you get like the spoilers because cor corporate's reading it out. Um, you know, you get like, like um, oh my god, I can't remember Kevin's last name, Silent Bob. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Wow, that was dumb. 
easy. Most most used name in ever in history. Couldn't fucking remember it, right? I need some more coffee. Is what I do. Mm, coffee. Um, like Kevin Smith would give like like his little stand up stuff like that and, and stuff like that. You know, it's just it's it would be fun to see it once. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. I'll, I'll, it would be it would be interesting to go there once. Yes. Yes, sing to the bomb. That sounds constructive. Or destructive in this case. Mwahaha. It's mom bomb. Not yet. Oh yeah, it is mom bomb, you're right. I don't understand why they didn't call it ma bomb. Ma bombi? Well you got ma bomb. So why not ma bomb? He's a shake. He's a quick Oh! Oh, she looks ugly. She looks nasty. That's a big. That's a big cloud of spicy gas. Yeah, yeah. That's a... Now we know who was actually at White Tom's. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. You're right. Let's do some praying. Get some power. Let's Come get on, another mommy, heal out. Mommy, why are you blowing up? Because I'm on Tinder, son. Woo! Chocobo kick! The Cocobos. You know, as a child, I always had the hardest time, like, trying to pronounce those things. The names of everything. Yeah, because you're stupid so, and don't know any better? Yeah, totally. I was, like, a stupid kid. Like, so Cecil... Cecil. Yeah, I thought well, I thought I thought it was Cecil because I used to watch Beanie and see, my dad would. Oh damn it! Because my dad, you know, one of the things we used to rep for the Video Star are Beanie and Cecil teams. My dad used to watch those as a kid. Yeah, I have. I like I Cecil Cecil, same spelling, tomato tomato. Right? Yeah. Okay. But his when he gets uh, further in the game, I used to always have like a, a trouble naming like it was it was it was never Paladin. What did I call it? Ladens. Huh. A Pally Paladini or something like that. I used to I used to have a horrible, like horrible. Oh my god, he could defend while hiding. That's amazing. I'm not gonna lie, because of the font, Buff Mom looks like Butt Mom. <laughs> you said butt. There was one time where I was able to successfully beat the uh, the bomb bomb before it exploded in one playthrough. Yeah, it just needs grinding, level grinding. Yeah, but that's what like like that's what I did like nothing but level grinding and shit like that in this game. Where it's like, all right, let's see if I can do this. Let's see how high I can get these guys. Let's see, you know, if I can break the game this way. Speaker redeemed the water break. Oh well, I don't have water, but I have coffee. So, sippy sippy. Yeah, I mean, it is coffee not made from water. Yes, chocobos are blessed by sword. That's where I was going with this. Yeah, so I used to call chocobos like uh, chocobos, something like chocobos. Uh huh. Because it was like or chocobos or choco. Like it was never chocobos. It was it was something weird. Hmm. I came here to train my men. They were killed in a swarm of beasts. They were Fabal's finest monks. We bring urgent news to Fabal. A villain named Golbez is abusing Baron's authority to seize the world's crystals. Drink then, thy holy bean juices, yes. Then he covets our wind crystal as well. <laughs> uh, Opaker. Doubt. Easy um, sees the crystal. Chocobos better or greater than horses. They are. Uh, they are. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, if you really like, people kind of get disturbed by eating horses, but you know, a chocobo is just a giant chicken, so why the fuck not, right? I suppose so. Yes. I mean, Kentucky Fried Chocobos, right? They're finger clucking good. That's a massive drumstick. It does. Mm, Horse-sized drumsticks. Yeah, now you're thinking. 
Do you want more drumsticks or bigger drumsticks? That's always a question. I see. I humbly accept your assistance. Let's go. We haven't much time. The war lies east of these mountains. For the longest time, yes. uh, so over there it goes, I, uh, goes, I thought Phoenix Downs were some sort of weird item. Much later, I, it was literally the down feathers of Phoenix. Yeah, that I makes sense. I didn't understand why they were called Phoenix Downs. I had, I, I didn't know, I knew, I know now what a Phoenix is. Yes. Didn't at the time of playing this game. So it was one of those things like, what, what the hell's, the, I knew I, what down was. Yeah, I, I, I knew what. A phoenix, I knew what a phoenix was, like, first time playing this game, but, like, the math never really did occur to me either, yeah. We got, we got chat talking about cho chocobo buffalo wings. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Man, that's, that's, I'll get a, I'll get a three pack. It's, it's like, literally one and a half wings. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save up here. We did get a posture check as well, somewhere. Oh, we did? All right, well, posture has been checked because I generally sit in my nice, decent office-like chair. I'm on couch. I'm... You're living the high life. Oh, confused, cockatrice. Okay, he's getting fast now. Target's getting fast. Let wings or drumsticks? Wings. Uh, <clears throat> I'm always more of a drumstick guy. I do... Oh. I like wings. I, uh, my, my father... Is it I have no. Maiden's Kiss, I think? No, not Maiden's Kiss. Not diet food, not antidote. Is it Golden Needle, you... I think? Golden Needle is what we to un... Uh... Yes. Okay, it was Golden Needle. Um... I love wings, and the reason being is my father used to go to our local grocery store and buy like a couple of packs of wings, just like actual chicken wings. Mm -hmm. And then he'd bread and batter his own his own wings in his own special way. And we used to my father's name was Wally, so we used to call it Wally Fried Chicken. Mm. Or Wally Wings. Wally Wings would have worked. Wally Wings, yeah. They were fucking delicious. And to the fact of the matter that, like, my father would do up, like, a huge bag, batch of it, and he'd just be like, Adam, don't touch them. And I'd be like, yes, sir. And then I'd be like, I keep them. I keep them 100%. And be like, they'd be gone by the next day. And be like, where are my wings, you bastard? How dare you? I was a growing child. I ate a lot. have issues with them. Those two are really uh, you know, just eat the whole thing, right? The chicken is if you're gonna if you're gonna take chicken, eat the chicken. Yeah, that's very true. Be the hound. Eat as many chickens as you can. Hey Yang gang level. Speaking of Yang, what's he using right now? Equipment. His his fists. He just has a fireball though. Just a fireball. Uh, we can put the leather cap on him. Yay! And let's go ahead and give him that Iron Ring. There, he's got a little more defense now. My Iron Butterfly. In the Garden of Eden, by Iron Butterfly. Mm. Oh, Simpsons. This sounds like rock and or roll. Wait a minute. This sounds like rock and or roll. Who is responsible for this? Uh, oh, back when Simpsons play. was good. Bless you, Reverend, Reverend, Reverend Lovejoy. Ooh, I need another sip of coffee. God damn. Tortoises! Adam and tortoises. Adam and tortoises. Oh, that's right. We learned that tortoises do not like ice. Go! Here's the ice rod. Waffle. Yeah! Smack them! Smack them in their heads! A confused tortoise. Let's see if the tortoise will attack itself. 
ba 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 ba. Yes, it did. Yes, it does. Well, it's confused. Of course, it would attack itself. All right, let's go now ahead, I... save our progress once again. Now I have in the guard to need stuck in my head. By who? Um, uh... By Iron Butterfly. Yes. Preemptive strike. I have to get the tabs for that to see if I can play it on banjo. On banjo? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm trying to learn banjo. Did I not? Have, I, I've told a couple people to reach that, but I have, I've been trying to learn banjo, and I just restrung my guitar just to kind of give myself some some, some some extra practice while I play guitar. Yeah, some familiarity, yeah. basically. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn banjo, and also trying to learn uh, violin. Oh. I'll add that to the guitar, uh, the drums, and uh, bagpipes. Now, I want to premise this by. I play them. Not well, however. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's that. Hell yeah. Now, okay. Are you playing? The, now, do you want to play the violin or do you want to play the fiddle? Those are two completely dis different instruments. I'm from the East Coast, so it's definitely fiddle. Um, okay, there you uh, go. The banjo is different, is that it's from um, a different. Well, one, it's, it's um, essentially. Uh, where a guitar uses a hollow body to resonate the sound, a banjo uses a skin-covered hollow, kind of like a drum, to give it this, the sound. Also, they're tuned differently. The banjo is tuned to E, D, G. No, that's uh, E. It, it goes D, E, D, G. A, I believe. I can't remember correctly. At some point, I will, I will, I will remember that, and I will tell you guys about that. But it's strung differently than a um, uh, than a guitar, and it has uh, its only its neck is usually only four string with its fifth string probably about four or five frets down down the uh, down the neck of the of the banjo, and it's it's con it, you usually. It's not so much strumming, depending on what kind, what style of banjo you want to play, because if you strum banjo, it's more like melodic, it's more Irish folk too, which is great, I like that. But I'm actually also trying to learn a little bit of blue, uh, bluegrass and, and learn how to kind of break it down Buster, uh, Buster Strum style. So mm -hmm. like a little bit of picking, banjo picking. So oh, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's one of those things that's interesting. Uh, God damn it, controller, stop that. Yeah, Raph, it is. It's if uh, you can go, like Google, just Google banjo. There are different banjos, right? So I'm just playing what I assume is just a regular banjo, but there's like bass banjos, there's uh, banjos from like Irish style banjos or something like that. I don't think you ran out of arrows in this game. Mm. Banjo can be picked one one string at a time, yes. Um, although a lot of uh, what they call rolls and stuff like that are done like, so you're actually picking several strings at once um, to kind of get that chord played. You can strum um, a banjo like a guitar. Like when you like a guitar, you can you can pluck individual strings as well. But if you're playing chords, you strum it. You can strum a banjo as well. Um, it's just, it has a, a little bit of a different sound. It's kind of like a violin. You can technically yeah. take a violin and pluck it in, with individual fingers. Um, you don't have to use the bow. Uh, it's just traditionally, that's how it was done. Yes, banjos do have a very distinct sound. Um, the banjo, like, I, I, my family is very... I have a lot of cousins and, 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 and things that have a lot of very good musical talent. Like, I'm kind of like, I'm the black sheep of the family in that I don't play things very well. I can, but I have, like, 
cousins and, and family members and uncles and aunts that like they'll sit down they'll play a, a play guitar and it's just like oh you're just you're cool rock on you're playing something so much better than I am. <laughs> We've made it to Fubal. And I am metagame because I know what's coming up, so let's just go ahead and uh, tell preemptive some things here. Yeah. Get what you need. Um, Lindsay Sterling Lindsay Sterling is, is awesome. I, I love a lot of her. All right, we got some more claws for uh, Yang here. Yay! Claw-tastic. Yeah, oh yes. And then we'll save real quick. What's he doing? He's going outside to save. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> What's that dog do? Actually, you know what? Even... wait. Yeah. No, we'll have a chance to do that later, so... No, we're good now. The king needs to see us. The king! Ah, oh, dang it. Gang, at last! Sire, we must prepare for battle. Baron Wolves will attack us at any second to steal our crystal. How do you know this? These two sit are citizens of Baron. They come to warn us. And these others? Sir, we haven't much time. The castle's defenses must be tightened immediately. Yang, can we trust this Dark Knight and his companions? Yes. They risked their life to help me. Sorry, I, I, this was played on Nintendo, so I'm calling him Dark Knight. What was that? Dark Knight. Oh, right, yeah. From, from, from Zelda. Right. It is an honor to see you again. Prince Target! Sire, Baron's fleet, fleet decimated D Damsia and claimed our crystal not long ago. Many died, including my parents and my beloved. Demand seeds Damsian's tragedy must not be repeated. Forgive me for my suspicions, Yang. Mobilize the men for battle! Dark Knight, will you help us defend Fubal? Of course. You have already Baron offered. Of Drupcha. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Baron, oh, sorry, I, I apologize. Baron just popped in the chat. I didn't mean to cut you off. I ah, apologize. no, that's fine. I, don't hear you. I mean, I'm just, re I'm just reading aloud here. Yes, but you're doing such a wonderful job of it. Fuval's fate rests in your hands. May we be victorious. Oh, wait. Oh. I should have taken equipment off people. Oh, well. Oh, well, no big deal. Happens. It's okay. Yep. Here they come! Attack! <laughs> we learned this lesson guys. last time. Take the captain out, and, they won't, and the warriors won't attack. But if we take the warriors out, the captain will run away. Oh, he's confused anyway, so yeah. Shadow uh, says, save scum, and I just was like, no, he's not me playing that quarter four. <laughs> no, we're good on save. We're, we're, we're good for now. I didn't get a running tally of how many times I've saved scum in that game. You see, because last time we defeated the captain. Now, this time we defeated the warriors. And... I believe when the time comes around, if he doesn't die. Oof, confused. Aaron of Derbshire has the very murder hobo esque way of looking at things. Yep, see, he runs away. Yep, see, he runs away and get rid of his warriors. The Red Wings!
can't hold them back. Retreat! Well, they just fired, like, fireballs at you guys, so... Yeah, yeah, they were launching cannons, yeah. They're severely outnumbered. I regret involving you all. This is our war, too. It's far from over. They're coming! Derpshire, aggressive loot gobbling, thank you. No, no, that's murder hobos, just with more words. Here, target, you take out the, uh, you, you take out that little thing. Oh, what a surprise, you can't do that. Alright, target, target, you can try again. Hey, yeah, you did it, champ, look at that. You didn't kill it, but you heard it. Congratulations. Yay. Hey, he's confused. Yeah, let's, uh... What will it do? Anything? Ow! It beat itself up. It, it cut its own throat open. Ah! Hey, a dumb boy. What's a house spirit doing trying to hack out your shits? Exactly, yes. That's what, that's what it is trying to do. Oh, those two guys died. died. Well, yeah, because, you know, they don't have plot armor. Very true. We must hold them here. The king has already retreated to a safe place, along with the women and children. Our duty is to lure the enemy away. And crush them! That would be really helpful if you had a friggin' summoner that could get fire. Yeah, but they're helping out the, uh... They're helping with the hurt. Well, they're helping with the injured. That's the excuse. You want to know what the best medicine is? Preventative medicine. You want to know what that be in this case? Helping us kick these guys' asses! True enough, true enough. Retreat! Not before you kick him in the nuts. Hey, target gave the level, huzzah! Wrath says, I like this Yang dude. Yeah, he's cool! I shall henceforth call him Yangarang. The door has been locked. We must hold this ground. The crystal is in the next chamber. No! The door has been unlocked. Bra! What the fuck? He's one of them! <laughs> Dick move, dude. Dick move. Do what you do best, Target. Did not notice that he was a gargoyle. I mean, uh, I mean, did you not see the cloak he was wearing? I mean, I, last I checked, his skin was still green. Fair enough. And prior to that cloak, he was, you know, he did look like a lot like gay. Well, maybe it was just a damn good disguise. We just, you know, rolled pretty low on the observation. Lemon's a perception. Could you? <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll finish up with this segment of the game, then we'll uh, we'll be calling it from there because we are getting close to time. So. Oh. Not, it would not. I know. Then? Yeah. Not that much longer. And like I said, I, I gotta work up. Oh fuck! Target. What the fuck, man? Trip it over your own feet. Well, like I said, I really should uh, work on the uh, on that virtual soundboard so I can adjust volumes properly. The only thing is, getting a virtual soundboard, everything cycles through. Then you got to go back and reset everything, like Discord and all that stuff. Yeah, I know. It's just annoying to deal with. Stein says, I mean, he's living up to his name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he totally is. It was completely accurate. That's why I probably would have just overridden whatever the real choice was about the target anyway. Warrior 506 is, remember, 
Let Slay Living is a very effective health saving spell. <laughs> yes, it is. Ah, uh -huh, now you're not gonna do anything, Warrior. Oh, wait, you're dead. This time, he couldn't run. Yes! Yes! Oh, this was the best part of the game the first playthrough. Well, uh, okay. Yes, the crystal room. Yeah. Well, but what comes after this? Oh, hey! Jumpin's back! What's up, Jumpin? It's been a while. Jumpin! You're alive? Seem it, so it would seem. We'll talk later. For now, we have some fighting to do. Indeed. Are you ready yes. to face me, Poppin? What? Ready your sword! Jumpin! Ready your sword, fool! Why? Save your breath. Bro, I was fucking cheating. Fine. Fuck you. Ow. Stop jumping on me. What's going on? <laughs> Bruh. Eh, always with the twists. Ooh, what a twist. Must be under Gulbez's spell. Have you any final words? Stop! No. Oh, wait. No! That's right. Buff Mom! Jumpin', you of all people! No, I... The drama! This is what a story is! Yes! Forcing laughter out of your face because you're sad. Why do you hesitate, Jumpin'? This just did it for me! Galvez! So, you're Galvez. Poppin, I presume. Never hesitate to kill. Jump in. Now, see how it is done. Poppin! No! The, the Death Star is insignificant to the power of the Dark Side. Silence! Your, your father. Oh wait, that's the wrong story. I am a Death Knight, not a Darth Jedi. Or Darth Sith. That's it. Get the crystal. Yes, sir. Jump in, please. No, Buff Mom. <gasps> Exclamation point. Buff Mom, no. So you cherish this woman, and I shall take her with me to raise the stakes. Until next time. Got this music! Come with me, your highness. Just kicks him. And you won't be so lucky next time. Wait! I'm getting Star Wars feelings from this. Like, <sighs> I'm just throwing that out there. Fair enough. Cure! This is Darth Vader. I mean, he's just, he's fucking awesome. Again, the first time hearing that is like, oh my god, this music. What is happening? Feeling better? I thank you, Waffle, but the crystal is gone. I have failed. Now Buff Mom is gone, too. Just slaps them all. So come on, we have to help Buff Mom and bring the crystal and bring back the crystal too. Lamond, or you could just kill everybody. Spooky so little come kid. After you later, but hey, what story plot? Story and plot, whatever. She's right. We have no time for moping. We must get back Buff Mom and the crystal. Poppin, it is your. It is our turn to assist you. For now, let us heal our wounds. Thank you. Waffle, best is Goral. Yup. Your 
Tanner, speak. The king rests in his quarters. He survived it. He suffered injuries during the attack. Alright. Well, we'll do that next time, though. For now, we'll just go ahead and head on out. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. Too dangerous to fart now. Alright, alright. Gotta go. Keep going with the story. Uh, and that is up and... Nope. Gotta go out this way. I think it's this tower, though, first. First tower, yes. If we had even one ish, if we could put up some kind of fight. Been a Master, better, but no. I wasn't sleeping. I was meditating. Oh, we're here in the bar. Eh. Later. No. Uh, not this one. Let's go to the other one first. Tower first. The other tower first. Raph says, thanks for the retro feels and stream striker. Hope y'all have a good week. Heck yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, hon, you're all right. I am fine, thanks to their help. You guys are like my husband's guardian angels. And you? Are you all right? Yeah, them barren bozos ain't, ain't never coming back. I gave him a hell of a thumping with my non-stick frying pan! Oh yeah, the frying pan. The, uh, the cast iron pan just... BOOM! Did you get that as an item later on? It, pay attention. Pay attention, class. That will be important later, but yes. Yes, it will be important later. Oh, I gave away... I'm sorry. That's yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you know what? Let's see if naming way is here, actually, real quick. I don't think I see a naming way. There's a child here. Watch you! I've been training! Hey, a dancer! Wanna see me dance? Why not? Oh! My, she is toned! Oh! Here you are! Just picture some very hey large, like, zangief looking motherfucker doing, like, hey kick dance on the fucking table. Yeah. Alright, kid, get the. Oh my god, child! Child, move! <laughs> this pathfinding got stuck. Football is, has suffered much. We must regroup and protect the people. But don't worry about me. Retire to the end. Get your rest. Alright, yeah, fine. <laughs> Baron Derpshire, kill it with a skillet. Yeah, the, ooh, that's, that's a good one. Kill it with a skillet. I like that. <laughs> Mad Dunks 42. I cast a Dutch oven. No, wait. Uh, that, that, that's what the poison spell is, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, God. Madness. Master Yang, please let me know if you need anything. Ah, uh, I could use a drink. How will we go about the rescue? To fight gold bears, we need an airship. The Baron is the only known kingdom that has them. And we must sneak into Baron. Borrow one ourselves. Yes. Borrow. Baron's main force is the Redwings, so its sea power is relatively weak. We might be able to slip in by boat. I will ask the king for a ship tomorrow morning. Thank you, Yang. Who is this Dragoon? His name is Jumpin. He used to be my best friend, but I don't know now what happened to him. Perhaps you will find your answers in Baron. Well, I'm gonna find some answers, alright. Hell yeah. I see. I will arrange for a ship right away. Yang, accompany and assist Poppin. Poppin, take this sword. Belonged to a dark knight who came to Fubal many years ago. The sword exudes tremendous force, but is still a weapon of darkness. Darkness can never prevail over true evil. I have faith that you will slay Golbez. Perhaps it is but a mere wish. The Deathbringer. 
Go to the harbor in to the east. As soon as you are prepared, the ships shall await you there. Be a twist of a story of like Cecil was just playing the good guy, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Yes, you helped me clear the way for everybody. Now I am in power." <laughs> that would be. Although I mean, in in the game book, in the 3D remake, though there is so much more added that I enjoy. That. We got a follow from Equalez. Uh, oh hell yeah! Ecoles. Oh, thanks for the follow. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, naming way's got to be somewhere because I know we can rename Yang before we leave. He just has to be somewhere. I highly recommend that we rename Yang to Mang. Mang. <laughs> Oh wait, I think I, I don't think I know our naming ways. Alright, chat, let's get some names in for Yang. We'll put Mang up there if you want to get a poll going, Bowser. Ooh, uh, polls, 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 polls. That's predictions. Uh, you gotta go to, uh... It's in the, uh, customized stream. It's in the stream manager. There he is, there's naming way. Hello, you wish to change your name. I mean, I, I can make it too. Alright. Uh, uh, I, I just, I don't know where... where I got it. It's I'm fine. Speaking. It's fine. I got it. Uh, Yang's new name. Oh, we ha I see Fisto and Mel in there. We have Mang. Yeah, no. Lo Wang. Uh, Fisto. Lo Wang Lo won't Wang. fit. Other Yang Other won't Yang. fit. Lo Wang. Uh, okay, yeah. Lo okay, L-O Wang will fit. Uh, hi -ya. Wangs. These wags, no, that won't fit. Dead yeah. sniper, hello. Sun Tzu. Ooh, Sun Tzu said that. that. And I say he knows a little bit of. Alright, yep, yeah, alright. Uh, gonna go ahead and start the poll. We got another minute. Sun Tzu did say that. And I'd say he knows a little more about fighting than you do because he invented it. And then they perfected it so that no man may beast him in the ring of honor. He got two of every animal. Herded them onto a boat and proceeded to beat the crap out of every single one. We need All to right. do Team Fortress to you and I. <laughs> we should get like it. Uh, I know. I know. Um, me Meat Machine I, and Obvious would play. So maybe we could get a few. Maybe we could get six guys together and do some Man vs. Machine. Mm. That'd be a little more controlled without like, you know, just public servers being public servers. Yes, I understand. It's a super close poll. Well, we got like ah. 10 seconds. Hi, Wang. It's Hi, Wang. Beep, beep. Or the highway. It's my way or the highway. Low Wang won. How close was the poll? Let's take a look at that. Wow, yeah. Sun Tzu was close. Sun Tzu was close. But Low Wang it is. Yeah. Is Lo Wang from Kung Pao? Yeah, this is Lo Wang. We taught him wrong as a joke. Heck yeah, Final Fantasy IV. Confused one says Lo Wang was a guy I went to Wichita land parties with. <laughs> also, hello. Hi, confused one. I love Final Fantasy IV. Yeah. Is Shadow Warrior. It is a great game. Final Fantasy IV is... Again, you know, it's my first Final Fantasy game, so it holds a very special place in my heart. All right. And with Yay. that, we're going to go ahead and save the game. So then next week, we are going to be off to Baron. And hopefully get Rosa, a.k.a. Buff Bomb back. Hopefully, get some of these crystals that have been stolen back. Or, or for me, and you read it wrong, it was Butt Mom. <laughs> yeah, Butt Mom. All right. So, uh, again, with that, we'll catch you guys next week. Uh, hopefully, I'll try and bash out a virtual uh, soundboard so I can do some better audio adjustments. And I'll have to go back through and just like redo everything here in OBS because again, Windows Update, Brave, thank you for breaking everything, you son of a gun. But, uh, yeah. With that... I'll, I'll, I'll help you as much as I can. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean it's, it's all just a matter of just setting stuff up, so. 
But yeah, with, with that, uh, you guys have a good rest of your uh, weekend. Uh, you know, we'll be, Foxy, I'm sure, will be playing Battletech in what, about half hour, 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 something like that, I think, is when they come on? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, you guys have a good weekend. Yep, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.